Welcome to Davy K's channel. I'm so happy to have you here in my living room behind me. Today I'm going to do for you my rustic shabby chic decor. Much of it is thrifted or hand-me-down and um, I wanted to show you what I do for the winter in decorating. So when you enter my house from the front, this is what you see. You have my couch here and then the wall over there. And I am just going to go around and tell you how I decorate and where I got each item. So with that, I'm going to start. To my couch. Now this couch was in the apartment we had lived in previous to this house. And um, the person who had previously owned it decided they were gonna give it to us, so we brought that with us. So very grateful to have a couch, didn't have to buy any of that furniture. This blanket was a gift from Blaze's grandma, and I love the blue and white chevron. You'll notice I have pops of turquoise in my um, living room here. Then I got this warm pillow from Oriental Trading, I believe, of all places. Um, you'll see one that like it that says cozy. Then this awesome like vintage turquoise pillow was something that my great uncle had um, at his auction and no one bought it so I got it for free so yay that was nice something free pop of turquoise there again um, I have a crate over here that I just put my remote on in my Bible because this is where I do my Bible reading every morning that I have been really sticking to um, since January so Yes, I'm so happy that I was able to um, keep reading that and wanting to do that. Then I got the crate there, some magazines. Um, this is just where I have my computer. We don't have an office, so right now that's where my computer's at. All right, so this is a big military chest from my grandpa, and we do store items in there that are um, less frequently used, so that is there. This piece of burlap that I have over top was from Blaze in my wedding. Um, then I just have a box of tissues there because I didn't really know where to put it. All right, so what I have on the chest then is this little rustic um, picture holder that I got as a housewarming gift from a friend. And it says, enjoy every moment. And just a picture of my husband and I at our wedding. Um, then I got this as a Christmas gift from my secret Santa. I really like the decorative balls in the glass vase, so kind of fun. All right, moving on over. In here, in this basket, I just tipped a basket sideways, and I got the basket for our wedding as well. So um, I've used them in multiple facets in my house, whether it be for storage or decoration. And here then I have the sign home is where the heart is, and I got that for $2, I believe, at a garage sale. So actually, that was one of my first YouTube videos I put up way back in October. So um, you can check that out if you want to see that haul that I had there. All right, moving on over. Um, actually, beside the crate chest here are my weights. Um, I've been working on gaining some muscle, so I've been lifting some weights and um, use this as just some storage there. It's kind of like a little mini picnic basket that I got from my grandpa. All right, so sorry, moving back over here. Um, overview of that. I have a chair, borrowing it from some friends right now. There is that cozy pillow that matches my warm pillow. I made this turquoise pillow when I was in high school. And again, like I said, it just adds some pop of turquoise. All right, on this shelving unit here, I'll show you that first. On the bottom, I just have some um, books that are kind of fun for people to pull out. Like these are wedding books here and then a book of our wedding. This blue decorative glass vase was from a coffee shop actually. Uh, and then this is really fun book, 101 Conversation Starters for Couples. And then um, When God Writes Your Love Story. If you haven't read this before, it is amazing. So I recommend that book. And then How to Cheat at Organizing. <laughs> this was an old book my husband picked up to try to resell. And I said, why not? I'll keep it. So that's Jeff Bredenberg. Never heard of him actually, but it's got some really great tips in there. All right. Moving on up to my next shelf, this um, frame here and Bible verse 
is from a friend after they got married. Sorry, that is really glary. I am the vine, you are the branches. So John 15, 5, if you ever want to look that up. She made that for us. And then I have this octagon shaped glass piece that I set a succulent on. And no, it is not a real succulent actually. It is fake. I got the succulent from Target and the rocks from Dollar Tree. So kind of a fun, easy DIY. I've had so many people ask if it's real too. Yeah, it's really fake. <laughs> Anyways, um, up here I have some decorative books. A Narnia book that is not decorative actually, that's a real book. And then it's just these ones that my library is going to throw away. So I took them. Again, more turquoise. Then this elephant was a gift from Blaze's aunt. So you could store stuff in there, but it's just kind of cool. I don't know. I'm not really an elephant person, but I like this one. Alright, up on the next shelf. I got this for our wedding. Um, it is a Mexican tile that they imprinted our wedding date and Blaze and Davy there. All right, then on the top, I have a turquoise vase with a plant in it. So I like plants every here, every once in a while in different areas. So, all right, then up here, I mean, this is the corner you guys see all the time. So you kind of have seen all this stuff before. Um, I have this grapevine ball. And then this little sign with the stand I got from our wedding. And then up here, I used this for my Christmas decor, but I moved, just moved it. I thought it would work. Again, it's rustic and it matches. And those wreaths, $5 Goodwill challenge. Yes, thumbs up for those. Anyways, I love using those in all different areas of my house. Alrighty, moving on down. Here's our TV. And that was a Black Friday um, haul that I had big TV. We had a 19 inch, so this is awesome. Anyways, the shelf I also got from Black Friday shopping and it was $19, I believe. So pretty reasonable. All right. These bins I got from Holler. So if you've seen some of my Holler hauls, you know, I have got those before. I love them. They are like $2 each. So definitely check out Holler if you have not before. All right. These books here, um, we have like 14 of them and they are worth quite a bit of money. Again, my library is going to throw them out and I decided to save them. Um, maybe we'll find the rest of the set, I don't know. But um, I like using books as decoration, as you can tell. Down here, uh, use some more books as decoration. I need to take these stickers off because those are like library stickers. Again, wreath from $5 Goodwill Challenge and this vase was just like the blue one I had from that coffee shop over here. Some more of those old books that are worth some money and a giant pine cone from California. Um, and then just in these, I store other books and a few decorations. So I really don't have a whole lot in them. I just like the gold touch and white. All right, then on the side, I got this old jug from my grandpa and these um, during Black Friday as well. All right, I'm gonna move on up. So this sign um, was a Christmas gift, so if you've been with me for a long time, you've seen that before too. And moving on over here, I'll go here. Um, my clock was another Christmas gift. All right, moving on down. Um, I love, love, love this blanket. So soft. My husband and I got it as a gift from some of our piano and guitar students. So not a clue where they got it, but we love it. Like, oh, if you could feel it, it's awesome. Then this chair was a hand-me-down from our pastor. As you can tell, it just has a few little rough spots, but we like it. It works. It's pretty comfortable. All right, moving over here, I have a basket from Pier 1 that I got uh, from a gift card I had from our wedding that I just have our blankets in. And again, there's that turquoise-ish color. Um, and then this is a built-in. So... There is the overview of what I have on my built-in. Again, I like the pops of white. I kind of picked up the blue and turquoise color. Um, so I'll go through that. Here I have uh, another succulent, fake again, of course, in an old blue mason jar. And then here's a picture from our wedding. Um, the photographer did a really cool job of making my flowers pop and then the rest of it was black and white. Um, and then up here, I have an anvil that my dad gave us. Uh, just some um, books here that we have read, uh, that we like. 
and then some milk glass. I like milk glass as well. These are just some older decorative books again here. I need to take those stickers off. <laughs> All right, moving on up. This was a gift from our wedding. So I just have that leaning up there. These books are C.S. Lewis books. Um, and then another wreath from the $5 Goodwill Challenge. This was going to be a DIY that I was gonna do, but I kinda like the and. Just white, nice, simple. Um, keep it bright in here. This Marriage Takes Three was a Christmas, Christmas, sorry, wedding present. And then moving over, some milk glass vase and another wedding picture. So we had an old barn wall stood up behind us at our wedding and so that's kind of where that was taken. So again, here this is. Um, I just made it really simple. I didn't put a whole lot more out from when I had taken Christmas presents. Wow, sorry, words are a struggle. Christmas decorations down. So here we are. Um, it is quaint and small. We love it though. Way bigger than when our apartment was here. Sorry, I never picked those books up. So here it is again. And you get to see outside a little bit. The big grand overview. Ooh. So there is my living room rustic winter decor. So definitely thumbs up if you like decor, um, rustic theme especially. And let me know in the comments below if you want to see any of my other house decorations and how I have um, done up our little house. So there you have it.